Hello hey students, uh, so, so sorry for uploading the videos late, all of you were expecting that sir will help me. So here I am with some important questions which I am expecting uh, that it may be asked in the upcoming board exam but before starting that I will tell you that there is no guarantee and all uh, that if these questions only will come but you have to practice this question these are according to me these are the most suspected questions which should be asked in these exams and all of you should give focus on competency based question also uh, as per my expectation there will be around 10 to 15 marks questions where you will be checked on your competency of understanding the chapters so let's start with dear students to start with uh, first we will start with chapter 1 uh, exercise 1.1 question number 2 3 uh, there are roman numbers so all the roman numbers are important question number 2 and 3 and 7 okay exercise 11.1 .1, question number 2 3 and 7 you must practice it next example number 5 you must practice prove that root 3 is irrational example number 6 show that 5 minus root 3 is irrational these two are also important questions you must practice it now coming down to uh, exercise 1.2 from exercise 1.2 question number 1 question number 2 question number 3 roman number 3 is important question number 3 roman number 3 is important questions now moving on to the chapter number 2 <coughs> In chapter number 2, last year we have some competency based questions. So, coming down to 2.2, uh, okay. 2.1, the graphs are given, you can uh, practice that. Um, just nothing to practice there much, you can just go through it. So, now moving to exercise 2.2. Exercise 2.2, question number 1, Roman number 1, Roman number 2, and Roman number 6 is important questions you must practice it question number two roman number one and two is important okay now moving on to the next chapter chapter number three from chapter number three you will be getting one five mark questions okay so i feel like 3.1 question number seven uh, becomes important questions for five marks so you might practice it this is a graph okay now moving on to next exercise 3.2 question number one Roman number 2 and Roman number 6 is an important question. Uh, whatever things I'm telling you, it's both for set A and set B. Okay, so you can practice set B. You can just uh, take read of those questions which are little difficult. Okay, next uh, 3.2 question number 2. Main question number 2 is important. Then question number 3. Roman number 2, 3, 4 and 6 is important. Question number 3, Roman number 2, 3, 4 and 6 is important questions. Okay. Next, moving on to exercise 3.3. Question number 1, Roman number 3 and 4 is important. Question number 2, Roman number 1, 2, 3, 4 is important. Okay. You must study it. Hmm? Next, moving to chapter number 4. Uh, chapter number 4, exercise 4.1, question number 1, Roman number 3 and 2 is important. Question number 1, Roman number 2 and 3 is important, okay? Then question number 2, Roman number 4 is important, okay? Next, exercise 4.2, question number 2, question number 1, Roman number 2, 3 and 5 is important. I repeat exercise 4.2 question number one roman number two three and five is important then question number four is important question number five is also important you can mark it next moving on to the exercise 4.3 question number one roman number two is important question number two roman number one and two both is important okay Moving on to the chapter number 5, chapter number 5, uh, exercise 5.1, question number 4, Roman number 2, question number 4, Roman number 2, Roman number 5, Roman number 30 is important, okay? Next, moving on to 5.2, question number 1 is important, it's a basic question but it's still it is important, it may be asked in set B. Next question number 4 is important, question number 5, 1 is important, question number 7 is important, 
question number 10 is important question number 11 important question number 15 question number uh 16 18 19 and 20 is important okay so you must practice it next moving on to 5.3 question number one roman number one two and four is important roman number one two and four is important then question number two roman number one is important question number three roman number six roman number seven roman number nine is important okay next question number four is important from the same exercise question number six is important question number seven important question number nine important question number 12 important question number 16 is important and question number 18 and 19 is also important 18 and 19 it may be for those uh, who are taking set a so you can practice uh, okay next chapter number six so from chapter number six i will say that tells theorem and converse of Thales theorem you should practice it properly okay then from the exercise exercise 6.2 question number one is important question number three is important question number four important question number six question number eight and question number ten is important okay moving on to 6.3 before going to 6.3 dear students uh, i will say example number five page number 84 is important example number 8 page number 85 is important example number 7 it is also important you can practice it okay 6.3 exercise 6.3 question number 4 5 7 10 11 12 13 and 16 is important questions okay so you must practice it properly okay these questions now moving to coordinate geometry so coordinate geometry i will suggest that all of you must practice example number three okay it may be asked in a case studies questions so you must practice okay next uh exercise 7.1 question number one is important question number three important question number four is important question number five is also important question number eight important question number nine is also important okay then moving on to the next uh, exercise exercise 7.2 question number one is important question number three is important for case studies properly study properly this one then question number four important question number six is also important okay question number eight and question number ten is important okay now moving on to chapter number eight dear students i may be a little fast but what to do uh, example number five you must practice it from here page number 110 example number five then exercise 8.1 question number three question number four question number seven question number nine question number ten you must practice it properly then next moving on to the next exercise 8.2 8.2 8 question number one four and five you must practice it question number one roman number four and five you must practice it then question number three you must practice it then moving on to 8.3 8.3 as you know nothing is important from here only question number four is important so from here roman number one question number four roman number one roman number two roman number three roman number five roman number six roman number eight and roman number ten you can practice it chapter nine Dear students, you, in chapter 9, you need to practice some examples also from page number 125, example number 5, you can uh, practice it. Example number 7, you can practice it, okay. And coming down to the exercise, exercise 9.1, question number 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, you must practice it from here, okay. Moving on to the next uh chapter that is chapter number 10 circle from circle i will recommend you guys to practice theorem number 10.2 okay and uh, theorem number an example number two and three that is page 136 example number two and three now moving on to uh 10.2 from 10.2 uh my 
believe is question number seven is important from here question number eight is also very important nine is important 11 and 12 is important question from this chapter and remember 10 and 6 it will come in all okay for like five mark questions will be asked from both this chapter so you must practice it properly okay chapter number 11 chapter number 11 question number from chapter number 11 you can try example number 2 also okay and exercise 11.1 .1, question number 2 3 5 6 7 8 and 11 6 7 8 11 and 12 you must practice it from chapter number 11 chapter number 12 from chapter number 12 uh, you can practice example number 3 okay and example number 4 all right then exercise question 12.1 question number 1 question number 2 3 4 6 8 and 9 you can practice it properly okay then moving on to the next uh, exercise and from here um, page number 151 example number 7 you must practice it okay exercise 12.2 you can practice 3 question number 3 4 5 7 and 8 3 4 5 7 and 8 okay then chapter number 30 chapter number 13 exercise 13.1 question number 2 3 4 5 7 and 9 you can practice it from this exercise okay exercise 13.2 question number 1 2 3 4 6 you can practice it from this exercise and example number example number 8 if it is possible you can practice it properly this question is also important uh, then 13.3 question number 2 3 5 and 7 you can practice it 2 3 5 and 7 okay now coming to chapter number 14 the last chapter okay so from here you can practice uh, question number 5 7 8 10 12 13 14 16 17 18 21 24 so these are the questions which you must practice beside these questions dear students if you are done with the syllabus then i will suggest you to go so, through some competency based question case studies questions because this one's sure to come okay you have to be mentally prepared for these case studies questions and whatever questions i have given you these questions i am expecting it's my opinion i'm expecting that these questions will come in your exams hmm. positively practice it thoroughly if you are not done with anything in the maths last hope then you can only practice these questions also that is also okay but i will recommend that better you practice uh, this question you give more importance uh, along with this question you should also practice other questions okay anyway students questions will be easy all of you prepare well and give your examinations well all the best and do well in your metric exams hope and pray that all of you do well in your mathematics thank you